students, again, this is teacher Teresa, and I will be one of your English teacher for this subject, which is all about reading, uh, critical reading and writing. And since we didn't have, or some of you didn't have meet me or chance to meet me or meet you, but this time we're going to um, continue our discussion. So last time I didn't give you anything to work on because you're busy in answering some of your worksheets for this unit. But this time we're going to continue answering this okay or continue to discuss the remaining passage so before we start our lesson for today let's have a short review from last week or last passage that we discuss or you discuss with teacher pupa and here are okay in the passage it mentioned about or the main idea is about deserts right and the type of deserts that we had in the earth so the first one or the type one is hot and dry desert. So I, I look for um, some images or pictures in the Google. So this is how hot and dry deserts looks like. So that is the, literally the, the, you know, which we assume that the desert looks like. So it's very dry. It's very hot there. So this is a sample of Sahara Desert that you can found in Middle East countries. Next one is the Gobi Desert in Mong Mongolia. So this is um, the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. So Mongolia is um, a country near to China. So imagine even if, if they experience snow and cold weather there, but they have hot and dry deserts, okay? So next is semi-arid desert. So not all deserts look like this hot and dry but there are some deserts that have plants many plants on it so that is what we call the semi-arid desert so you can use or you can see this kind of semi-arid deserts in utah and greenland utah is um a state in america and greenland is a country next Another type or kind of desert is the coastal desert. So this is what the coastal desert looks like. And obviously, you can see or you can, you know, compare them to a beach or an island. So obviously, this is not a beach, not an island, but this is what we call coastal deserts. So this is the Atacama Desert in Chile. It was already mentioned in our or in the passage. And the last one or the last type of past, um, desert is what we call cold desert. So these deserts can be found in the north and south pole of the earth. So this is the Antarctic and Arctic desert. So this time we're going to answer the graphic organizer. So if we're going to, you know, you know, uh, if we're going to read all of this imagine one two three four four passages we're going to read all of those four pass uh, four paragraphs it's quite long right but for us to know or for us to organize the important details in the passage we need to use the graphic organizer that's the time we're going to use the graphic organizer so graphic organizer is a visual display usually a diagram or illustration so this is an uh, example of a diagram it can help you organize information or facilitate the visualization of concepts relationships and facts of the passage so instead of reading all of those four paragraphs that very long we're just going to summarize them or make an or a graphic organizer for them or for it okay so for us to easily understand what is the passage all about so the topic idea or the main idea of this graphic organizer deserts cover a wide area but not all deserts are full of sand as many people think there are a lot of, of um, rock gravel and salt flats in deserts so again not all 
deserts are full of sands or what we call Sahara deserts but there are some kinds of desert like cold desert coastal desert and semi-arid desert so we're going to answer this graphic organizer so here the facts deserts can be categorized how many um categorization there so there are four types namely the hot and dry semi-arid coastal and cold again this is the four types of desert and the type one is hot and dry desert so this are some supporting details about hot and dry desert so the soil is very rough with shallow or rocky sections the temperature there is 49 degrees celsius to minus 18 degrees at night so when you say minus this is negative 18 degrees at night imagine from high which is 49 and the lowest is 18 next uh which is negative 18 next is the type 2 or what we call semi-arid deserts so in semi-arid desert the soil is sandy with small rocks scattered uh, about the ground many plants there have shiny leaves the highest temperature is around 38 degrees celsius so compared to hot and dry deserts which is the maximum temperature that is 49 degrees celsius here the highest temperature the maximum um temperature for this kind of desert is 38 degrees which is way lower than the hot and dry deserts now let's move on to type three which is coastal deserts so coastal deserts they lie along the coast so when you say coast it is near the sea or near the ocean they are cooler than the other deserts and the summers are long and warm in the evening the temperature is more than minus four degrees celsius or negative four degrees celsius so um compared to this kind of or type of desert hot and dry desert and semi-arid desert this is more okay more colder than them and the last type of desert is, is cold deserts they have a lot of snowfall and are found in colder climate so as what i mentioned this kind of deserts can be found in north and south pole region of our earth which is antarctic and arctic region so compared of the three um kind of desert that i already mentioned it this is the coldest okay this is the coldest deserts now let's move on to another passage passage reading this is the passage to in unit two and this is all about the spread of desert so if you're ready you can read along while someone is talking here and let's start passage two the spread of deserts In several desert regions in the world, deserts are moving closer to where humans live. Deserts in sub-Saharan Africa, the dry and sticky areas south of the Sahara, are encroaching on villages and towns. This means the sands are spreading closer to villages and cities. This process is called desertification. This causes deserts to spread into land that was previously farmland or dry plains. The Sahara is moving southwards at a rate of 5 to 10 kilometers a year. The Gobi Desert that covers Mongolia and northwestern China is now only 1,000 kilometers from Beijing. Okay, so in this part of the passage, um, this is what the desertification process defined, okay, or, you know, mentioned. So the, the process of desertification is, it means that the sands are spreading closer. When you say closer, you know, closer to the villages and cities. So way back in the years that, you know, there's no a lot of villages or cities yet, the, the desert are way more farther than what they are, where they are now. So this is what we call the process of spreading the desert near near or making the, the desert near to the cities and villages so 
it was mentioned or there are some deserts here that was being mentioned so this is um sahara desert okay sahara desert which move southwards at the rate of five to ten kilometers a year imagine it is moving forward to the cities and villages five to ten kilometers a year so you know i i, I it's not possible that if you're going to <clears throat> excuse me if you're going to um go out from your from your house and you can see there that the desert is moving forward or moving closer to you and the other desert is the gobi desert which when where which we can um found in the mongolia and it is moving one kilometer it is only one kilometers from beijing imagine this beijing is the city or the capital city of china now let's move on to this part normally the spread of deserts is usually blocked by either mountains or abrupt changes in vegetation the savanna plains of sub-saharan africa have tall grasses these plains act as a barrier from the desert but now the sands have covered much of these areas mankind is more at fault than mother nature a big cause of desertification is overgrazing by animals and the burning of grasslands and forests farmers often burn the savanna grasses to make room for their farm animals animal hooves pack the dry arid dirt this makes it much harder for rainfall to trickle down and support vegetation. This increases erosion. Then the land that was previously used by animals to graze becomes useless. In Madagascar, 10% of land has been burned by local tribes, trying to clear away more land. Okay, so in this part of the passage, um, the author is saying the reason of the certification or why the desertification is spreading more um faster than the usual so here in order for you to stop the spreading of the stir uh, the deserts we need to have a barrier or shield from it but because of the mankind doing here there are some um mentioned here that the overgrazing of animals and burning of the grassland is one of the major factor why the barrier disappear so when you say that barrier that is the shield from the desert but since the people is overgrazing their animals and burning grassland that's the reason why our barrier or the shield from the desert disappear so that's the reason that is the reason why the spread of desert become faster than the usual okay so it's also it was also mentioned here that in madagascar 10 percent of the land was burned by local tribes trying to clear away more land imagine that is what the people doing instead of stopping the spread of desert they are the reason why the spread of deserts become faster okay so next let's move on to the last paragraph every time farmers move their cattle to a new grassland area or decide to grow crops the environment is stressed farmers use a plot of land for a few years and then abandon the crop fields for more productive ground as soon as they abandon their old farms the plant roots no longer hold down the soil. Then the desert quickly moves in, making the land unusable. The problem is basically a land management issue. The only way to stop desertification is to help vegetation grow by giving land more water. Some scientists suggest planting large trees, but others maintain this just uses up valuable water for precious smaller pieces of land. There is no easy solution okay so in this part of the paragraph author is saying or you know suggesting some ways on how to stop the certification or lesser or make it make it slower than the usual so it was mentioned here that if we're going to plant more plant or trees there are there are more roots that going to hold the soil or the land in place but if there's no plant or roots to 
hold the soil or the land in place that what what that's when we um experience erosion or soil ero erosion now it was also mentioned here that um scientists suggest planting large trees okay i was already mentioned so we need to plant more trees for us to stop the spread of the desert or the people stop the spread of the desert but instead of doing it others maintain this just uses up valuable water for precious pieces of land so that's the effect of the desertification instead of using the precious water in you know drinking or people use they just use it in maintaining the land okay for them to stop the soil erosion but the bottom part or the bottom line of this is there's no easy way on how to stop desertification okay so here in the passage we um encountered some what we call this one some unfamiliar words so here we are one two three four words here so this is the word and the meaning in english so encroach encroach is to slow slowly overtake something or usually land now savanna a type of flat grassland in a dry region overgraze when having too many animals feeding on the land and hooves the feet of an animal such as horse okay now since we already um read what is the passage all about we are, are I, I will going to let you answer your other worksheet about the reading skills question so here you can see question one two the next page of that one two three until four and the summary so that is your homework the deadline for that is next week monday don't be um you know next week monday so please work on it and if you are finished just post your finished worksheet in our line line group and um write your name in english at the same time your your number it okay so let's stop our or let's un end our discussion here students again this is teacher teresa i hope you learned something from me today and you're able to understand what is the passage all about okay so be safe be healthy and let's meet each other next week bye for now